Good morning. Thank you for joining Mitchell County Hospital this morning for our episode of Ask the Experts. This is Jessica Stone, Community Relations Director, and joining me this morning is Dr. D. Roach, Chief of Staff, and Jennifer Hale, our Infection Control Director. Dr. Roach, can you speak to the recovery process and treatment for COVID patients? Um, sure. Uh, we'll start with the treatment part of it first. Um, as everybody knows, the degree of uh, symptomatology or severity of the illness varies greatly from one individual to the next. And for the most part, the majority of people who um, are infected with uh, COVID virus are having a relatively mild or even asymptomatic course. Uh, those who are having more uh, challenging uh, symptomatology or those who are more acutely ill, treatment regimens have varied and again, as I've said before, th this is such an incredible learning curve about um, how to treat this thing and the things that we have learned up to now. Um, primarily, I think the, the cornerstone of treatment has been uh, systemic corticosteroids. Decadron is the one that's been most commonly used. Uh, there has been some recent information about an inhaled corticosteroid as well called budesonide, which has been around for a long time. Again, these are primarily geared toward uh, treating the inflammatory response to the virus itself, which seems to be causing the greater degree of um, morbidity and mortality with the more acutely ill people. Uh, there has been a use of an antiviral drug. It's called remdesivir. It is not approved by FDA at this point, but FDA has been allowing its use for humanitarian purposes. Uh, because some people do seem to be responding fairly favorably to that. And again, this is for the more acutely ill people who are hospitalized in intensive care units. Um, so that's generally the, um, the more aggressive treatment plan for those who are more acutely ill. As I said, the majority of people are having relatively mild symptoms. And so as far as recovery, those people are recovering uneventfully. Uh, usually, again, within a matter of a couple of weeks, they're back up to going full steam. Those who are more acutely ill are obviously having a, a more prolonged uh, recovery period. And again, I think it just depends on how acutely ill and also influenced by other comorbidities that they might have, such as underlying lung disease, immunologic suppression, things that we've talked about that make you more prone to it also make you have a more challenging recovery to it as well. Okay, thank you. And Jennifer, do you think the recent heat wave will help slow the spread of the coronavirus? Um, I know um, lots of people have been wondering that and um, hoping for that, but um, it is not, um, it, this virus is, in, is present in tropical settings as well, and these, these high heat things. But, um, and as Dr. Roach and I had discussed um, previously, you know, our, it is susceptible to heat, uh, to being uh, killed by heat, but not something that the human bodies can handle, not to that level that the human bodies can handle. So um, transmission is going to be occurring um, via droplet. Um, it can be aerosolized, but that would be something that would um, have to be happen like in a hospital setting or if they were receiving like a nebulizer treatment. But transmission of this out in the public things that you may encounter is going to be droplet transmission, which means um, that it's going to um, pass through cough, sneeze, talking, laughing, singing, that sort of thing. Um, and so when we're encouraging people to wear masks, this is the reason, because it can definitely pass by those droplets. And if that barrier is there, um, then that transmission is going to be um, less possible. Okay, It's not 100%, we know that, but it's what we can do. It's what we, it's, it's the only defense that we really have right now, aside from, you know, staying healthy, eating right, um, exercising, getting, a, getting enough sleep. That's just another, another way that we can offer to protect ourselves and something we can do. Okay, great. Thank you.